Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And this is the Laser Pecker 2 Laser Engraver. This thing is amazing. I teased it a little bit a long time ago um, by pointing out what if I did some of my own logos. This is an example of some of the work it can do. Look at this. This is in a Milwaukee Torch Blade, the nitrous carbide. Of course, that's the teeth, not the metal. But look at that detail right there. You'll get to see this being engraved here in just a sec. Here is a snap on one and the Klein again. This is in wood, just gorgeous. Little piece of wood. Here's the Klein in a piece of cardboard. You just set it for, you know, using the app, set it for what you want. But we're gonna take a look at this thing and then the hardware and then we'll go into the software and then we'll go into making some of this stuff. So what we've got here is the laser engraver uses a 12 volt 5 amp um, input here you can do usb out to your computer or it's got full bluetooth capabilities and that's what i'll be using it's got two external usbs here to drive other things such as vents like in this uh, handheld unit so what i could do is put that on drop it right in those holes there snap it on plug it in and then with the cable running the power, I've got my uh, perfect 11 centimeter distance here. So I could just hold this up to something and literally do my engraving right on top of it. Or, as you'll see in the, um, in the video in a moment, um, I was using this stand. And this is just a gorgeous stand. Nice anodized aluminum. Um, and you just take the, the laser pecker two, drop it right on. Screw the, the connector there and then plug it in right here on the back. And what this does is it gives power to the, um, the screw inside here and you just control it to get the exact 11 centimeters um, that you need for the perfect height. Um, then it's got a few onboard controls here and uh, comes with glasses and another layer of capability here there is this gorgeous tool what this does is offers three more opportunities to engrave on curved surfaces i could put something in here and literally it would turn it just like that into engrave on the surface or i can run something long if i wanted to engrave because this is a has a limit of what it can see here. I could literally run this across and there are a couple of onboard components here that would allow me um, to run something a little bit longer. If I wanted to run something big, I could throw these on. Say if I wanted to run a board across here um, and I could flip this entire thing over. Go ahead and store these back in here. I could run this upside down take this bolt that bolt this adapter on and then i could drop the um, laser pecker onto this device and once this is on just like that i could then use it as a roller and you can see that those now are wheels that turn so it would literally roll across a surface. So this is a pretty amazing device. Uh, not cheap, but not that crazy expensive given what you can do, given that I can literally burn a logo in in a few seconds. Well, this one's like uh, closer to a minute, directly into a steel, wood, paper, fabric, leather, plastic, you name it. So anyway, let's, let's see what this can do. Um, so here we go. All right, let's do something else. I've got a uh, Mil Milwaukee torch blade here. This is the nitrous carbide. Of course, that's just the teeth. But we're going to go ahead and type something in and have it printed on the back of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to creation, go in here. How about last best tool? L A, whoops, A S T, best. Uh, tool right there looks good confirm 
and I can make other adjustments and choose fonts, things like that. Um, if I want, how big should we make this? Let's make it pretty good size. Let's go uh, 50 millimeters wide. It's going to be 8 high. That should do it. Uh, it's low resolution. It's just font. Um, next, so it's sending the file there. All right, I need to see where it's going to be. I'm going to turn on my... Let's see, how about there? If I want, I can go back. I'm going to use the preview here, too, to show you. Click on this preview, make sure I'm in protective environment. It's actually going to show me the more the actual size. I can also use a centering button. Um, to uh, get it lined up just perfect. But anyway, that's fine. Custom uh, material, I'm gonna call this stainless steel. And 100% power, depth 100%, pass one, start, that all looks good. Uh, so, I'm gonna turn on my fan here. And, Get my uh, safety goggles on and go ahead and fire this up. Go ahead and here we go. We're a little over halfway. We're about two-thirds of the way done with this burn. Now this is in real time. I could speed it up like a lot of videos, uh, but I want you to see what actually transpires during the, the actual etching process. And that's of course, if you think about, I'm doing something fairly large on something um, that is a pretty hard material. Let's see what we've got here. We are almost done. And then we'll take a look at it. There we are. Check it out. A little bit warm, not bad. A little burned. I probably did it a little hot there. Could knock it down to maybe 75%. Um, in fact, why don't we try it again? We're going to have some fun here. Let's do this. I am going to go home. Back home. I'm going to go to my album. I'm going to grab this. How about a Klein logo on the Milwaukee? Let's try that. So there it is. Everything's fine. Next. Uh, how big? Um, I'm going to put this probably, I can do it around 20 millimeters by 19. That should be good. Um, and then I'm going to preview it. Click yes there to see where that's going to go. So I'm lining that up right there. Maybe I'll give it a little bit more space. Okay, quit preview. Next, sent the file up to the unit. Uh, stainless steel, power, depth. Um, I'm going to back off a little on the power. Maybe it won't be quite as 
mushy how about 80 percent that should do it confirm everything else looks good start put my goggles on and cranking away. This one might take a little while. Lots of little detail there. So let's see what this looks like. We're going to do something else fun. I've got a plastic box here, and inside that plastic box is some Craftsman screwdrivers, little tiny ones. So what I'm going to do is I want to put the Craftsman logo on my box. So the first thing I'm going to do here um, is I am going to raise this to the proper height. So I'm going to turn, turn on my little powered razor there and drop down. It goes in one millimeter increments, so I'm going to, I can get it exactly where I want it. Right there. It's perfect. Okay, now I need to go get the Craftsman logo, and there it is. Everything looks good. Next. Next. Now in this case, what's the width I'm working with? Um, if I go over here to my box and look, uh, I am at about 60. And the height here is about 20. So what happens, I'm going to put in 50 here. And the height is 9. So it's going to be a little shorter. That'll work. All right, uh, so I'm going to preview this now. Make sure everything's fine. So there it is. And center that right where I want it. Actually, it's, it's going to go this way, I bet. Right there. That should do. Quit preview. Next. It sends the file in. Put on my safety glasses. What am I working with here? Um, in this case, we're going back to paper. I mean, back to plastic. Confirm that choice. So it's plastic, 100%, depth 2. Um, let's go ahead and try this. It's a softer plastic. Might need to do it again if it's not working right. I think we need to go a little deeper here. Because I didn't see anything repeat. Everything's the same. Next, I'm going to go to a deeper, since I haven't moved it, um, I am not seeing much of anything. Let's go to 20%. Confirm. That might be too much. Let me back it off here. I'll go to 15%. Confirm. And start. And get my goggles ready. And the 99, so let's see what I did here. A little rough, but getting the idea, so you can see. Okay, let's have some fun with a different material. I'm going to stick a piece of cardboard in here, 
And let's go to my album. I'm going to choose the Klein logo there. Next. Uh, don't have to make any adjustments. How big? I don't know. Let's make this thing um, about 50, almost 2 inches. Um, that looks good. Low resolution. Preview. I'm going to actually check to see where it'll be just to show you we can do some nice stuff with cardboard. Oop, keep bumping it. Right about there is good enough. Um, lifting height. Now one of the things I might need to do is make sure that my height is correct. Um, and I need to go up a millimeter at least um, to line that up. Looks good. All right. Quick preview. I'm going to go to uh, the next step. It shoots the file over to it. And custom. I'm going to actually put this on cardboard. Corrugated, let's see, paper is cardboard. Right there. And power 80, depth 100. Let's go ahead and try this. Um, confirm this in. Whoop, confirm corrugated. There we go. Um, depth 3%, power 100, pass 1, start. Get my goggles on. And here we go. And we are done. Let's take a look at it. Here it is. You can see that's pretty good. Um, what I've got is a snap-on screwdriver. And what I'm going to do is put a logo on this face of the snap-on screwdriver. And let's see how that goes. What I'm going to do is open up my album first and choose a snap-on um, logo here. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up. All right, let's check it out. And there we are. 100th anniversary logo on a old school tool.